In the beginning, it was my singing that had soul. I was an Ike act, a backup singer in the Ike and Tina Turner review. But when my lung collapsed and I could no longer sing, this soul sister turned to soul food. So I opened my own restaurant. And one thing's for sure, this family means business. My son, Tim, tackles everything from supplies to managing our employees. Tim's girlfriend, Janae, she's responsible for taking care of Tim. My nephew, Charles, he works hard at not working. And this proud mama is at the head of this family business. Welcome to Sweetie Pie. We are in Los Angeles with the cast of Sweetie Pies, Oprah's number one show on her new network, OWN. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Thanks for having us. Now, we left off midway through the season and you got a loan for your third restaurant in yes. St. Louis. Um, what can we expect from the new season? Well, you're gonna see the construction. You're gonna see us looking for furnishings, uh, carpet, Tim and I are fighting over carpet or hardwood floors. So this, we're gonna see uh, TJ, he's his home, the baby. So you're gonna see just the progress that's happening in running this business. Uh, welcome to Sweetie Pies. Uh, we got a new cast member, we think. So we can't tell you that yet. So it's just uh, a continuation of our struggles. Okay. Now, you two recently had a baby. Yeah. yeah. And you were known, you know, as a player, and you know, now you're settling into family life. Right. Tell us what that's like. I've changed three diapers. <laughs> it's, right. it's very interesting. <laughs> That's it. He's changed three diapers, and it's been very interesting. That's about the same. <laughs> no, um, honestly, though, Timothy's been home now for a month and a half. We're excited to have him home, just like any new parents. I mean, we're struggling with trying to figure everything out. Grandma thinks that she knows everything. We think that we know everything. I read every book that you can possibly read wow. about a baby. Um, so we're struggling through it, but we're making it. He looks like me, so yeah. He, he looks, looks just like his like mother. Me. Just like the grandmother, me. right? So if I had my cell phone, I would pull out the pictures and you guys would see who he looks like because he looks just like, he looks his, like mother. his grandmother. People tell me the other I'm day, the lady said, Oh, look at the baby. I said, Yeah, I just had him. <laughs> now, we all know that food and cooking is extremely influential in the African American community, it's something that brings the family together. What happens in your home around your dinner table? We have, I mean, everybody. We get together, we dish and hash out our problems and stuff and eat, and we try to keep this soul food thing going. I mean, uh, my mom used to say, most of your biggest deals are made around the dinner table. So we discuss what's going on and what's gonna happen at the restaurant and how it's working out. Now we've all seen the hilarity that happens in the restaurant. What happens when the cameras aren't rolling? Cause that's what we really wanna know about. When the cameras are not rolling, we're doing the things you can't see and they are not pleasant sometimes because so many things take place behind the, the scene that makes the restaurant, it puts it together. I mean, we might get a batch of rotten onions or, and you'll hear me complaining, calling the vendors up, cussing around, why you send me these rotten ass onions? You know what I mean? What are you doing? You have my food. Okay, but it looks like you're having a, a tea time conversation here. If it don't make money, don't make sense. So all this stuff takes place. It's a constant fight. But we, we're filming. A lot of people don't realize we film seven days a week. Yeah. At least yeah. 10 hours a day. So sometimes we, we, we the producer will call. It'll be 6.30 in the morning. We're on the way. They'll be knocking on our doors. And they'll be with us from 6.30 in the morning sometimes to 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night. So it's not too much you're missing. Right. Yeah, I think the most you're missing is just us sleeping. Sleeping, yeah. Right. 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 And they get that sometimes too. Yeah. <laughs> I go back to work next week on Monday, which is going to be really hard for me leaving Timothy um, at home. But they've already called and they were like, Can I be at the house at 6 a.m.? And I'm like, I'm trying to be to work at 7 <laughs> 30. Right. And they're like, We'll be there at 6. So they kind of want to catch everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they want to be in on it. What is a simple, quick meal that a woman can put together to wow her man? Macaroni and cheese, green beans. Everybody likes fried chicken. And if it's done right, I mean, they'll, they'll come in. Now, I'm, it's funny you said that I'm an excellent cook, but I don't have the man. So something is wrong with this picture. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't cook at all. And I, right, I don't think that's, that's exactly true because Janelle will be like, well, I'm going to cook in tonight. And Tim will be like, well, we're going out to eat. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, 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 so is your cooking questionable? 
Nicky. Or what is it? I, I'm the cook. I'm the cook, so it's not Nicky. I'm, <laughs> my, my baby can't cook. <laughs> I, are you serious? You really don't think that I can? I make him nachos. and I mean, I cook. So <laughs> I don't know that people would necessarily call it like a gourmet meal, but I'm just saying, I mean, I make nachos. I make tacos. That's all he wants to eat is that. So that's like the guy that's fixing the... The Roman noodles soulful. He puts some. Well, I put soul into my nachos. He doesn't. He doesn't fix and them I in the microwave. So. <laughs> I get him his Velveeta. All right. So I love the nachos, but me and me and my baby ain't together for a cooking. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. Everybody wants to know, how's Oprah? Have you met Oprah? So up until now, we were never able to say that we'd even spoken with Oprah. Uh, we met her or know anything. So it happened a couple of days ago. The phone rang. I missed the call. And when I came out the bathroom, I saw the missed call. I dialed it back. And she said, this is Oprah. And I'm like, yeah, right. So, you know. And she said, no, this is Oprah. So it was made me feel that she knew about us. She paid attention. I mean, she was aware of us. I mean, with all the things she's got, she didn't necessarily have to, you know, know that we're a small show starting out. But it was an honor. It really was. So I felt we were blessed to, for her to even take the time to call us. Thank you for watching. Welcome to Sweetie Pies. And keep it locked to Black Tree TV.